everybody welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here welcome my name is Callie and this is my YouTube channel dedicated to all things nails and beauty so I hope you guys stick around because I will have a new video for you every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time it'll be a variety of content you could get a nail polish haul a nail polish swatch video maybe some beauty content it varies and there there's always something new to look forward to so stick around for more like this so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a quick review of the new Essie Expressi polishes. I asked you guys on Instagram which video of two options you'd rather see and you guys chose this one so thank you to everybody who voted. So I'm really interested by these polishes. I saw the ad for them a few weeks ago, a month ago, whenever they released the announcement about these polishes and they just seemed super interesting so I'm really intrigued to see if they work. I got two polishes to check out today so I'll show them to you now. This first one that I got is really pretty. It's called All Things 000 or 000. I'm not really sure what it says. I'll check online to see if I can find how you properly say it. But this one's a really pretty light peach color and it looked really unique. I also got this one, which isn't showing up great on camera, but this one is called Taxi Hopping. And this was the most unique color I saw on the display. It's kind of like a chartreuse color. So I thought these were both really interesting and I thought they'd be good to try out. So those are the polishes that we'll be looking at today and I'll be showing you guys how they apply. And these polishes claim to dry in about a minute is what it says on the advertisements. So we'll see what happens. I'm very interested to see how these work and if they can actually do what the advertisements say they can do. I did a similar video to this when I reviewed the Sally Hansen Insta Dry polishes. I think that was a few years ago, but I will link that up in the cards. And yeah, without any further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, so let's get started with the first polish. We're gonna start with all things, whatever that says, all things 000 or all things 000. I'm not really sure, but let's just get started. Um, so these claim to dry in about a minute is what the ads say it doesn't say anything about one coat or one stroke or anything like that but let's just see what happens these also do have the new Essie brush which is the wide brush so I really like that and they're also angled so you can do your nails on both hands which is great okay so the application is really nice you do have to be careful though because this brush picks up a ton of product so I know it's hard to see on camera, so if you do get this polish, the brush is not bent or anything. That's just how it comes, so you can do both your, both hands. Which I don't really get how that's supposed to help you. I guess it's just to keep the brush angled properly, I'm not really sure. Also, sorry if I'm painting my nails a little bit weird, my camera's in the way of me trying to apply the polish. I really like this color, it's applying nicely so far. And these definitely could be applied in one stroke, so that's good. If you have bigger nails, maybe not, but definitely smaller nails, medium nails could totally use this as a one stroke polish. Okay, so there is one coat of all things OOO, and let's just see what happens. I'm gonna put on a timer and we'll see. So that was about a minute, and in the videos that I've seen, they show girls doing their hair or putting money in a coin slot for something, and things like that that would dent your nails if you were not fully dry. So I'm going to just use my nail clippers that I have sitting here. I'm gonna to try to see if they're dry. Okay, so they are not totally dry. You can see this did create a few dents, but I'm pretty happy with this. They are mostly dry. They're just a little bit tacky and fragile but for the most part that's pretty dry so that was about probably a minute 20 I would say maybe so there about a minute is pretty good and I definitely wouldn't wear this as a one coat polish because it is really sheer but 
I guess if you were in a hurry and you just needed a blush of color, this is good. Yeah, it's super, super dry, so I'm very impressed. Even though I did just uh, mess up this coat a little bit, I'm going to do a second coat just to see how it applies and see if the second coat dries in a minute. So let me do that off camera and I'll be right back. So here's the second coat of this lovely polish and it's looking pretty not dry so far, but I've had this on for a few seconds, so I'm going to put on a timer again and we'll see what happens. So that was about a minute and it's looking pretty glossy, so let's see if these are dry. And I also did do a bit of a thicker coat, so we'll see what happens. Alright, so they're definitely not completely dry, but that's pretty good for just a minute. I'm pretty happy with this. So that's the thing about these polishes that's a little bit different from the Sally Hansen Insta Dry ones because those claimed to be dry in a minute. It was, I believe it was one stroke, one coat dry in 60 seconds. So those definitely do not dry in 60 seconds exactly. So that's the thing where it's kind of hard to, to see if these polishes work like they should because they're saying about a minute, which about a minute is very ambiguous and there's not an easy way to see if that's true because about a minute could be 45 seconds, it could be 60 seconds, it could be a minute and a half, two minutes, you don't know. So that's the thing about these polishes that makes it kind of hard to see if they actually work, but I'm pretty impressed so far so let's see what happens with the other polish. Okay, so let's see how this second polish works. We have this one called Taxi Hopping, so let's see how this one applies. I'm interested to see if this one will be a one coater because it's definitely a lot darker of a color than the other one, so let's just see. Okay, so I was hoping for it to be a little bit more opaque than it is, but we'll see what happens. This is such a unique color. I've never really seen anything like this from Essie before, so this is quite interesting. And I know this is definitely not everyone's taste, this color, but I just thought it was interesting. I've never seen anything like this from Essie, like I said, so. This might be sort of an ugly pretty color, but it's unique, that's all that matters. I thought this would be good for spring too, and these polishes kind of look interesting to together, so that's why I got them. Also, side note while I'm applying this, these polishes are the exact same price as a normal Essie polish. They are $9, which I thought was interesting because they do seem like they contain about half of what a regular Essie would have in it, so that's kind of interesting. But anyway, so here's the first coat of Taxi Hopping, and I'm going to turn on a timer now so we can see if this one dries in about a minute. Okay, so that was about a minute. I'm going to do what I did with the other polish and let's just see if this is dry. Okay, so pretty good. This one seems almost a little bit more dry than the other one in about a minute. I don't know, maybe my coats were a bit thinner or thicker for each one, I'm not really sure, but this one is definitely less dented than the other two. This one's a little more dented because that was the nail that I did most recently, but I'm pretty happy with that. And I don't think I would wear this like this in one coat, but let's see how two coats does. So here's our second coat of Taxi Hopping. I'm going to turn on a timer and we'll see if this dries in about a minute. Okay, so that was about a minute. Let's see if this second coat is dry. Okay, it's still definitely not perfect, but this one actually seemed to dry a little bit better than the last polish. Maybe my coats were applied just a little bit thinner, but I'm pretty impressed. This is pretty good. I think if you did need to do your nails in a hurry, like the ads suggest, if you needed to touch up your nails at work, or maybe if you were just in a rush to go somewhere and you had to do your nails quickly, I think this would hold up pretty well in my opinion. I think these work pretty nicely and given the price point, I think the colors are nice and two coats is pretty good for both of them, so that's good. 
And also, I wanted to check something to see if the amount of polish is actually different, so let me just grab a regular Essie and we'll compare. Okay, so here are two Essie polishes. This is the Expressi polish and this one is regular. So this one is just a regular Essie and all the Essies I've ever seen are $9 each. This one contains 13.5 milliliters and this one contains 10 milliliters. So I'm, that's very interesting. Both of these are $9. These are $9 as well. I had actually expected the Expressi polishes to be less expensive than a regular Essie because they are smaller and they do contain less product than a regular Essie, but I guess because they claim to dry so quickly and they're just a different type of polish, I guess that's why, but I don't know. I think these could have been marketed for maybe $5 or even just $7 because as I said, that you're, you are getting less product and they're pretty much the same as a regular Essie. They do have the special brush so you can apply polish on both hands with more control and just it would be easier. But I don't know, I still think these could have been marked down a little bit considering what I just said, but that's just my personal opinion. Also, I wanted to mention, I will have mentioned it before now in probably some sort of caption previously in the video, but this is not sponsored by Essie. These polishes were purchased by me. All of these opinions are my own. And yeah, just that quick disclaimer. So that's just my opinion on these polishes. And I'm actually really impressed with both of them. Let me show you both of them again. I'm really impressed with both of these. And I also wonder if the performance of them has something to do with the price point because most of the Sally Hansen Insta Dry polishes, which claim to do a similar sort of thing to these, those are usually between maybe four and six dollars from what I remember. I haven't purchased one in a while, but I don't know, maybe the price point allows for a better formula or something like that, but these are pretty good. So definitely if you're looking for polishes that dry more quickly and a polish that you can just apply really fast when you need a really quick manicure, then I would recommend these. I didn't expect to be recommending them for that, but I think I would because I will definitely be using these if I ever need a quick manicure. So I would recommend probably picking up some polishes, some shades from this collection that are very versatile. So I would probably get a color like this where you can use it quickly with any outfit or just any sort of touch up that you might need to do. So maybe get a red or a pink or a nude neutral color, just something like that that you probably wear more often than something like this because I think it's good to have these in some more normal colors, so that's just my opinion. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you've ever tried these, or, or if you want to try these, or if you've had a good experience with them, a bad experience. I know these are pretty new, and I figure that's why you guys voted for them, because they are very unique, and I'm really interested to try more of these, and maybe I'll do another review with these in the future, but this is my review for now. So. Yeah, I would actually recommend these. I'm very surprised. I didn't think I would be recommending them, but I do. I think these are great, and I will definitely be using these more in nail art, or if I need a quick manicure, that's what these will be around for. So I do like these a lot. If I can find a link for them, I will put it in the description box, but otherwise, I found these in a display at Walgreens, and there weren't that many left, so I'm assuming these are flying off the shelves pretty well, so that's good. But yeah, so I've heard some people mention that they're in Walgreens, I forget what other stores, but I don't think these are available outside of the US yet, but we'll see what happens. And I know, I think Essie had also said they were available online, maybe on Ulta's website or something like that, so maybe check their Instagram or their website for more information, but yeah. So I think that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions about these polishes, please let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you're all having a really wonderful day, and I will see you in my next one. Have a polished rest of your day. Bye!